All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Malkakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah, our King, doing and pushing his word. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom, my King. Now, yeah, this, this video goes into, um, you know, he kills for sport, man. And the, the first video here that you see that says 49 seconds. Okay, that video um, it just goes to show his attitude towards certain things. Let's just leave it at that. When you when when I play it, you'll understand. And then the other video um, it it shows his attitude, man. And you can see this stuff on YouTube. You can look this up. They just upload this stuff for fun and kicks. Okay, they don't they don't they have no regard for life. Okay, these type of individuals, these Edomites. Okay, they got no regard for life. That's why the scriptures, Romans 9 and uh, 13, said that the Lord loveth Jacob, but he hate Esau, okay? And Esau's reasoning in life is, you know, he's off. Habakkuk tells you that the spirit that's in him is not, uh, you know, upright, man. Romans 9 and uh, 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, right? That's why in the scriptures is is giving you a prophecy that Esau, Edom, America, Babylon, and such is going to be destroyed, because they have not done the things that please the Lord. As a matter of fact, they were made to be the wicked, so they can't please Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay? And the scriptures also tell you that. You know, a, a, a abominable man, or the actions of them, are abominations unto us, and our righteous actions unto them are an abomination. Okay, unto them. So this man here, he is not for the scriptures. He is not for the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, Proverbs chapter twenty nine and twenty seven: An unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Okay, right. Because this man, he loves to shed blood. Deliver me from the bloody man. Okay. He loves to shed blood. This individual, Esau, Edom, you know. He, he Hey, what is, what, what the scripture say in Genesis? And we'll get into the main meat of the program. I'm just, um, you know, going through uh, the forecast before we get to the main subject here. Genesis chapter 4 and 7, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Okay. Now, the Lord's telling him, if you do right, you won't get right. But if you want to do wrong, sin lieth at the door. That, that la'ab, okay, your mind, ready. And that and that's how Esau Edom is, man. His spirit that's in him is not right, man. Every thought that comes into his mind is off, is left, left-hand side, okay? And why? He was made to be that way, Okay? Let's get into the scriptures in Romans. I'm going to play the video just now. Oops. Romans chapter 3. Uh, fuck, start from verse 15. Okay. Their feet are swift, swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Okay, yeah, you can you can say that was for some wicked Israelites, yes, but this is truly Esau Edom. This is the spirit of Esau Edom right here. Okay, there is no fear of God before his eyes, because what he do? Psalms chapter fifty, he cast that book behind him, right? He cast the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai behind him, right? He he don't, he don't care about the scriptures. He don't care about going once again, going back to Genesis chapter four and seven. 
if they don't do as well. Where 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 would you find well? Okay. Back then it was oral, yes, but now where would you find this well? Where would you find this uh thing that shall lead you on to a right path it's in the scriptures? Okay. So these individuals, their feet, okay, is quick to shed blood. And the way of peace they have not known, okay? They're not a peaceful individual. As, as a matter of fact, let me get one scripture here. Thirty one. Baruch chapter four and thirty one. Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice at thy fall. Who's that? Esau, Edom, these other nations as well, but top chief number one. Ye saw Edom. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Okay? Come on, man. Okay? And the chief place that the Lord has his bullseye on is America. Okay? Is this place. Babylon. All right? So going back to, um, you know, here it says, uh, Romans 3 and 16, destruction and misery are in their ways, right? And their feet are swift to shed blood, okay? That's Esau, Edom. When we look at all the atrocities that's happened around the world, Afghanistan, these different, various different places, you see how quick he's just, let's drop a bomb, hit the button, bam, and drink coffee and sip and laugh about it, make jokes, let alone chiefly us, Okay? The things that he has done to us in, in the past, okay, and even up to today now. Things in slavery, you know what I mean? The atrocities that he did to us in slavery, all right? He went above and beyond, okay? He went he went too far, all right? And to show you that, let's, let's go into some examples of how this man is. Going to Judges chapter 11, verse 16. But when it, uh, Judges chapter 11 and 16, but when Israel came up from Egypt and walked through the wilderness onto the Reed Sea and came to Kadesh, uh, then Israel sent messengers. Unto the king of Edom, saying, Let me, I pray thee, pass through thy land. But the king of Edom would not hearken thereto. And in like manner they sent unto the king of Moab, but he would not consent. And the Israelites abode in Kadesh. Then they went along through the wilderness and could pass the land of Edom and the land of Moab and came by the east side of the land of Moab and pitched on the other side of, er of Aaron, but came not within the border of Moab, for Aaron was the border of Moab. Now, if you really want to understand this, you could go to Numbers as well. And if you really, really want to understand this, yes, you could type it up. But just check it in the back of the uh, Zondervan. In the back of the Zondervan Bible, it should be there. Okay? It shows you the, um, well, they say unknown, they, you know. But it shows you um, shows you a, a route, okay? A wilderness of Zin and the route they had to take in, in between the borders of Moab and Edom, okay? So, let me see where I can find it. Uh, verse 14, and Moses, uh, Numbers chapter 20, and verse 14, and Moses sent messengers from Kadesh onto the, onto the king of Edom. Thus saith Thy brother Israel, thou knowest all the travail that have befallen us, 
how our fathers went down into Egypt, and we have dealt, or Slakia, we have dwelt in Egypt a long time, and the Egyptians vexed us and our fathers. And when we cried unto Yahweh, he heard our voice and sent an angel and have brought us forth out of Egypt. And behold, we are in Kadesh, a, a city in the uttermost part of thy, bo of thy border. Let us pass, I pray thee, through thy country. We will not pass through thy f the, the fields or through the vineyards, neither will we drink of the water of thy wells. We will go by the king's highway. We will not turn to the right nor to the left until we have passed through thy borders. Now watch Edom. And Edom said unto him, Thou shalt not pass by me, lest I come out against thee with the sword. Okay? So th this is how, um, in verse 22, and Edom came out with people with a strong hand. But anyways, and thus, uh, verse 21, thus Edom refused to give Israel passage through his border, wherefore Israel turned away from him. Okay? You want more, you could go read it. But, um, yeah, that's how that's how this wicked man is. He came out with a sword. You're supposed to be your bro uh, brother, okay? And Psalms chapter fifty tells you that he slandered against his own uh, mother's son, man, roughly phrasing, okay? So that's another example of how this wicked, wicked, wicked ass Edomite is, man. Another one too. <laughs> uh, let's go here. You already know where I'm going. And seven, Psalms chapter thirty. Psalms, Psalms chapter thirty-seven and verse seven. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof." Okay, and when you go into Psalms eighty-three, least we not forget that these same motherfuckers said, "You know, let us cut them off from being a nation." Okay, now that's pure wickedness, man. A man's supposed to know who he is. A man's supposed to have his landmarks. And Esau eat him, last time I checked, he was up in every man's land. Okay, Habakkuk chapter 2. Okay, so that's wickedness on to your brother, man. You see your brother in distress, you're supposed to help your brother. But let's go into uh, the video, what I want to show you real quick. Keep it flying? And why do you want to keep it flying? Why do you want to, why would anybody want to erase our heritage? Well, some people would say that that flag symbolizes uh, racism, it symbolizes slavery, um, and they might have some valid points there. Uh, that's their opinion, you know, they're welcome to their opinion if they want it. Are you, are you pro-slavery or against slavery? I have no comment, but thank you for the interview. I'll give you one more chance, you're, you're pro, pro or anti-slavery. Uh, no comment. I, well, I'll give you one more opportunity to say if you're pro or anti-slavery. No, I don't, no comment. All right, well, there you have it. No, no comment on the uh, if you're in favor of slavery or not. Just keep it flying. And you see, you got um, these Edomites from the south, and then you got the Edomites from the north. The Edomites from the north, they want to play all uh, honky-dory. What the hell is that, yo? Is that a chariot? Look at that hell broke that shot by Shamrock Hawker Dash. It just lit up. What the? Wow. Shit. Holy shit. That's bright. Broke a thumb. Yo. Wow. Anyways, you got the Eden mice from the from the uh, slacky. I was look, I was peering out of my car, and I could see it behind the building. It like a cherry, just ex like you know when you see an explosion, it's like a cherry just ex uh, uh, appeared. But as it appeared, it was bright, bright, bright light, and it started to dim down, and then again it brightened back up. But now I'm waiting to see if it comes from the other side. Slacky about that. Um, you got these Edomites from the south, and then you got the Edomites from the north. The Edomites from the north, just short, long story short, 
They'll they'll play sus. They'll play, you know, they'll play that pretensive bullshit with you, okay? And the Edomites from the South, they ain't playing with you. They'll tell you right straight to your face, you a nigga, you a nigga, you a nigga, okay? You my slave. That's the attitude that they have. And when you go into Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 7, if I'm not mistaken, it says, why am I seeing servants upon horses and princes walking as servants? Roughly phrasing, okay? Oh, here it comes again. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's get into the next, um, and this Keep just, it this just Keep shows it how these Edomites, their attitude is, man, okay, they want you back in slavery, okay, this, this wicked man wants you back in slavery, man, so he can kill you like sport, right now he's killing you like sport, but he wants, you know, that ease, you know, that ease to, 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 you know, whoop you up. Without no problems, you know, nobody's saying, ah, oh, you're killing the niggas, you're killing the, the, the Israelites, you know? He wants that power, you know, he wants that power back. That's why they talk about make America great again. That's really what they're uh, leading into, man. When they, when they had the power to just grab, pick a nigga, okay? African Dodgers, all these things, man. Look at that. Look at that, yo. I think that about did it. See? And it's gone. They're rejoicing over that, man. Watch when you hear them laughing this one. They rejoice over it like, ah, ha, ha, ha. You know? That has no fear of God, man. They'll execute just like this. <laughs> See that? They're laughing. Everybody okay? Uh, what do you think? What? Well, it didn't kill them all. So he sends back up the next one. <laughs> you hear this guy laughing? I, I taste honey. Imagine, imagine what they said when they killed. <laughs> Man, <laughs> imagine what they said when they look at that. Same thing with with our brain matter. You know what I'm saying? Imagine what they said when they killed the uh, uh, um, Israelites, man. Both the southern and northern kingdom. We caught, we got one. You know, they had pictures where they would laugh and be smiling and have their kids, you know, poking poking the dead Israelite with a stick. Okay. As you can see, this man kills for sport. He don't care. And we keep telling you, individuals. But no, you want to join hand in hand with these people. Proverbs chapter 12 and 10. A righteous man regard the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. That's cruelty, man. Why the fuck are you doing something like that? Okay. Jeremiah chapter 13. That That's why we tell you this man won't change. And the only one who's going to change him is the Lord, man. When he comes back and whoops his ass. And he, even then he still won't change him because... It tells you they were so afraid, but yes, there's fight, man. <laughs> Jeremiah, what the Lord's gonna put that spirit on him, you know? Because he wants to, he, you know, he, he ain't coming back just people just to lay down and go, all right, we give up. No, he wants people to put up a fight, okay? And especially those two who, who, um, you know, who pierced him. Jeremiah chapter thirteen, verse twenty-three: Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Or a leopard of spots, then may he, may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Okay, and you know you could go into Jake Jake's for fucking doing all types of wickedness, man. When you read Lamentation, Jeremiah, the Baruch, uh, Baruch you, hey man, Jake in this time and in this time as well, they fucking far gone. Okay, too far gone. But going into Esau, Edom. He is accustomed to doing evil. He's accustomed to doing wickedness. He was born to be the wicked. 
Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. Okay? Because he's of the wicked, man. He's a wicked, bloody man. All right? So let's go into this real quick. I'm going to finish out just now. Uh, Psalm chapter 37, verse 12. The wicked pl plotteth against the just and mash, mash the, masheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him. The hell? The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the, the poor and the needly, and to slay, s slay such as be of upright conversation. Remember, they said that... Um, um, there shall be a great insurrection. If they shall be like madmen, sparing none, and all the men who 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 basically praise Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Okay, so they, we know that they're gonna come down upon us. You know, we know that they plotted against us, right? But where's our where where's our heart at? Where's our mind at? Serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Um. Psalms 37 and 37, Mark the perfect man. Okay? So as long as we, you know, keep doing what we're doing, praying on to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and keep walking the path that we're walking, Lord willing, He keep our, His Spirit with us, and we endure unto the end. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13, the same shall be saved, right? At the, at, at the end of the day, you know, our hopes is that we are part, you know, of the elect number, okay? That's why the Apostle Elders and many other brothers and elders, uh, Slaki, the Apostle Elders, elders and brothers, okay, always say, you know, the hopeful elect, okay? We don't walk out there and go, yeah, we the elect. Don't you see all, you know, the Apostle Elders just this week say, hey, man, there's some brothers around here with their hands in their pocket. Knuckle dragon niggas, okay? And he's not doing that to, uh, you know, he's not doing that to be an asshole, but he has to put on and apply that pressure. And the position that he's in, he has to apply that pressure because he has to overlook certain things, okay? Are these men doing their work? Are they, you know what I mean? And then the heads below, they answer the question by doing the searching, okay? Is this guy on top? Is he on par? Is he on par? And like he said, house cleaning, you know. But that's another video for another time. But yeah, this is how this wicked man is, man. He's out here plotting against the righteous, ready to do harm to us. But how about Shem Yahushai see it? And as long as we have our faith, as long as we're in the hands of how about Shem Yahushai as a part of that elect number, you know. Keep, keep, hey, 2 Ezra chapter 14 and 14 and 15, man. Don't worry about these, this, this mortality here, okay? Worry about if you're good with Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Psalms chapter, um, yeah, this is the last scripture. Or no, I got this one too because this is how two-thirds of our people act. And it goes, it, it, it says a lot. Let's just get it. You have your father, the devil. John chapter 8 and 44. You have your father, the devil, and the lust. You have your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a, li for he is a liar and the father of it, okay, remember Cain, this is how Esau, Edom, you know, he's got that, you know, that, that, that spirit is right there, man, the spirit of Cain, okay, wickedness, man, he was a, a murderer from the beginning, I don't know where my brother is, I don't care about my brother, same thing with Esau, Edom, as a matter of fact, what does it tell us in Genesis, chapter, um, Let's get that real quick. <laughs> I almost forgot this one. 
Genesis uh, 27, 41. And Esau hated his brother because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, La'ab is mine, right? The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So you see that? This man has been plotting. And it's carried all the way down. Even into um, the time when we escaped. <laughs> the, the, look, man. This man holds a grudge. Even the time we escaped out of the Egyptian captivity. Right? Going back into um, Judges chapter 11 and Numbers chapter 20. Esau came out with the sword. Said, no, man. You pass by him, I'll kill you. Okay? <laughs> that's, his, that's his attitude. Okay? A murderer. He kills for sport. So when you're going back into John, yeah, that's his spirit, man. He was a murderer from the beginning. You don't, you don't, you don't. Am I, am I, the, am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> Wicked ass, man. Psalms chapter uh, 10 and verse 2. The wicked in his pride doeth execute or doeth persecute the poor. Salakia. Let me start over again. Psalms chapter 10 and verse 2. The wicked in his pride doeth ex The wicked in his pride doeth persecute the poor. Yeah, they, they execute him and they persecute him. Salakia. But that's also written in Isaiah chapter 32. Starting from the fifth verse, talking about the churl, okay? So this wicked bastard, okay, Esau, Edom, he is full of pride. It says, um, thy pride have deceived thee. I can't remember the rest of the, um, I don't want to butcher it. It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to butcher it. Let me not go into it. But, um, continuing, let them... Be taken in the, the devices in the, the in the devices that they have imagined. Okay, and that word device can go into thoughts and intents, or actual devices. Okay, mischievous thoughts, intents, wickedly lewdness. Okay, you get the picture. So, anyways, continue. Uh, yeah. So, um. Let them be taken in their own. And when you go into Psalms, right here, 9 and, um, what the hell? 9 and 15, it tells you that the heathen are sunk down in, pitch, in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Okay? And the Lord is going to use these devices that he has made, the actual devices. Okay? And he's going to turn it on them, eh? Because... A lot of two-third jakes, yeah, you're going to be taken out. A lot of these people in these different nations are going to be taken out. But you Edomites, man, a lot of you going to be taken out, which is Yapa, man. The Lord's going to be getting down in that day, blasting on y'all. And you elites and the rest of y'all that try to escape into your bunkers, you know, anybody on that elite level, <laughs> oh, you Edomites, you, that's it. You're going to get chained, starting with you Rockefellers, man. DuPonts and Gettys, all y'all, you gonna get wrapped up first, man. Okay? It tells you that in um, Isaiah chapter 24, and if I'm not mistaken, in um, Jeremiah chapter 16. 16. Okay? So going back into this, um, for the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous, whom Yahweh abhorred the wicked through his pride of his consciousness will not seek after god god is not in all his thoughts okay so you can see right there like going back to romans chapter 3 tells you that you know there's no fear of god before him in his eyes man he doesn't believe he just runs out there and does all the wickedness that he wants to do you know as a matter of fact, I think that's in Wisdom of Solomon as well. It says, let us use the uh, creatures as we please. Roughly phrasing. Let us put thorn uh, crowns of roses on upon our head. Our life is as a flicker of a flame. You know? 
or a smoke, a vapor of smoke. So they have no, you know, real grasp on life, but just to do wickedness, man. Okay. And as the scriptures say, if he be hindered from sinning, yet when he findeth opportunity, he'll do you, he'll do you something, man. That's Ecclesiastes chapter, or uh, Salakia, Syrach chapter 19, I think, in verse 26, starting from there. But anyways, um, going back at this, his ways, his ways are always grievous. Yep. This man is never going towards the scriptures. Miserable they are, okay? Miserable they are that afflicted thee, and misery accompanies them, man. They are the miserable, okay? There's no, they have no rejoicing, man. Knowing that they're going to be X'd out the way they're going to be X'd out. How the hell could you rejoice? You know, if you knew that was your, uh, because what? Revelation chapter 12 and 12 tells you that he know that he have but a short time. These elites know what the fuck is going to happen. Okay? They're just trying to, they're just trying to eliminate the Israelites. Okay? Um, yeah, because he thinks he can actually, he thinks he are, so lucky, he thinks he can actually accomplish it, you know? Doing away with all of us. But anyways, his ways are grievous. Thy judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Yeah, this guy's the most proud, man. Okay? And if you say something, best believe he gonna use them uh, devices that he's got on you. Okay? Is it his plan or nothing? That's that's the way Esau Edom is. Okay. Um. So going back into this, he has said in his heart, Laab, the mine. Okay. Let's do that real quick. It should Laab see the mine. It's going into the mine. Sometimes you gotta go over these, you know, things, because there may be newer brothers listening, you know, or newer people just you know, popping in, you know, that may be of that elect number, you know. So sometimes you got to go back through. He has said in his heart, the ob within his mind, I shall not be moved, see, for I shall never be in adversity. And this is how the wicked elites think, man. They take what they want, when they want, however they want. Their feet are quick to shed blood. Destruction and misery are on their ways. This is them. Okay? Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And a lot of people don't get this. That, that's why that fool that was yelling at, you know, or I don't know what, a demon was on him. Because he wasn't even looking at me. He was just walking by and just yelling. Why are you prophesying? Why are you preaching for? Everybody's damned. You're condemned. I'm condemned. We're all going to die guarantee we're going back to the most high i was like yo this guy's a nut okay and that's what the demons do to you okay so you know this is this is how hey what the scriptures say um second thessalonians strong delusions man seared with a hot iron this is how esau edom is man and like i was saying with that idiot on the street he was going into uh, stop preaching. There's no need to preach. Just go home and repent. There's no need to preach. What the hell are you talking about? You see how shy back? All this wickedness. The wicked is in control right now. What the hell are you talking about? There's prophecies to be fulfilled. Okay? And, the, and us doing the work on the highways and byways, this is part of the prophecy. But anyways, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. See, he's a liar from the beginning. He won't tell you the truth. He's got hidden intentions, man. Okay? Under his tongue is mischief and <laughs> vanity. See? He sitteth in the lurking places of the village. In the secret places doeth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. That's like these, uh, when you go into uh, the next scripture too, he lieth in, in wait secretly as a lion in a den. He lieth in 
he lieth in wait to catch the poor, he doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. That's like these cops, man. Okay? These wicked ass Edomite cops out here. You know what I mean? They, oh yeah, man, the amount of things that we've seen over, over since the 90s, man, and even before, but the things that can be accounted to be seen, you know, as body cam and whatnot, yo, the things that come out of this man's mouth when he's, yo, oh, got that nigger, you know what I'm saying? All that type of language, man. This man does not, Genesis chapter 27 and 41, it's within his heart to hate you, Jakes, man. And he doeth commit uh, that murder on you. You know, a lot of you jakes might, you know, Job chapter 4 and 7, whoever perished being innocent, yeah. But a lot of you jakes ain't doing nothing. You're just going to work, coming back home, whatever it may be, and committing sin upon sin, which, you know, a lot of you guys may be committing adultery, just acts worthy of death and all types of other acts. But I'm just saying for the, you know, go home, they go to work, they come back, they, they think in this realm, in this society, this is it, you know. We got the, the shit in and the stick, you know, that, 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 you know, in that type of mentality. I'm an American, you're an African, we came from Africa, you know what I mean. So, these type of people, these cops line them up and, and pick them off, man, as sport, as game, and kill them, okay. That's why in um, Syrac chapter 9 and 13, if I'm not mistaken, keep me far from the man that had the power to kill. Okay? Slave patrol. Why do you think you see police out here like that, man? They came off the slave patrol. Curios brothers, KKK. Okay, go check it out. A lot of you people just sit and, and want us to give, you know, go check it out, man. You know? Why you think this man, why you think these things are set up? This man, check out these names. Check out these things he's, this man has set up, man. And we're bringing out, for the most part, you know, all, all. But a lot of you people, you got to get up. You know, you got to get up and, and, and do reading, man. But anyways, that's why the scriptures say Revelation 1 and 3. Uh, verse 10, he croucheth and humbleth the and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. And you can't trust this individual, man. Brings out these dr 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 draconian laws, okay, that his vassals send out, his, his underlords, as we would say, because you got lords, vassals, and serfs. We're in the position of serfs. And you got those little puppet presidents and premiers and, you know, uh, members of parliament and this and that part of a uh, senate you know the constitution you know the, those 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 are vassals right there because the lords over them are the Rothschilds to get the one percent you understand but this man lays these traps hey who does it tell you right here Micah chapter 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. All right? And what? And they covet fields and take them by violence. <laughs> and I tell you, he's a bloody man. For sport, he kills, man. Even his own. And houses. And take them away. So they oppress a man and his house. Even a man and his heritage. The Lord said, don't. Remove the landmarks, man. But what does he saw you them do? Get the hell out of the way. I'm taking this. It's mine. He ruled it by violence, man. The the um. He who, he who ruled the people in a continued stroke of wrath. Uh, let me see if I find that. He who smote the people. So I guess not here. Yeah, he has turned everything upside down, but let me see if I find it. Um, uh, 
You know what? I, all I gotta do is just go. No, let me just go back to twenty-six. No, nope. let me go uh, here real quick. Oh shit! Snap. Oh, I gotta fix that. Oh, you know what? Um, suck, yeah. This thing is so tricky, I ain't even going to put the continual graph because I know when you type in inside of this bar up here, especially these, these apps here, I don't know, it's super sensitive. My other app, it can uh, adjust somehow basically it it um i don't know it, it just does it proper man this app here though it, these apps here it doesn't do it like that man even with the blue letter if you don't type that uh right you know, here it is isaiah chapter 14 and 6 he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke he that ruled the nation in anger is persecuted and unhindered yeah that's when Yahweh Bashim Yahushai returned to, to smolt him, okay, to melt him, all right, in a continual, jeez, on, bro, let me read it again, he will smolt the people in wrath with a continual stroke, man, this man don't, let me, let me see something real quick. Wrong, god damn. Rebellion, revolt, continual, wrong, turn away, stroke. Let me see that. I go under here. Crime, damn. Esau Edom, you got a lot to pay for, man. <laughs> but, anyways, brothers, with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Dash. Double honors. To the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. I hope you're edified. Lord willing, to the next time. Wa Abad Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Shalom.